Samuel L. Jackson was born on December 21, 1948, in Washington, D.C., but he grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. His mother, Elizabeth Jackson, worked as a factory worker and later as a supplies buyer for a mental institution, while his father, Roy Henry Jackson, was a factory worker who passed away when Samuel was young. Jackson attended several segregated schools before eventually enrolling in Riverside High School, where he developed an interest in acting. He was involved in the drama club and also played the French horn in the school orchestra. After high school, he attended Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, where he initially pursued a degree in marine biology. However, he later switched his major to drama and became involved in the local theater scene. During his college years, Jackson was an active participant in the civil rights movement, including being involved in protests and demonstrations. After graduating from college in 1972, he pursued acting full-time, initially working in theater and later transitioning to film and television. Samuel L. Jackson's rise to stardom is a testament to his talent, perseverance, and versatility as an actor. Although he has been working steadily in theater, film, and television throughout the 1970s and 1980s, it was his collaboration with director Spike Lee that helped catapult him to mainstream recognition. One of the pivotal moments in Jackson's career came with his role as Dater, a crack addict, in Spike Lee's film Jungle Fever, 1991. He portrayed the troubled character, was raw, intense, and deeply impactful, earning him critical acclaim and showcasing his dramatic range. However, it was his collaboration with director Quentin Tarantino in the groundbreaking film Pulp Fiction, 1994, that solidified Jackson's status as a Hollywood icon. His performance as Jules Winfield, a hitman with the philosophical streak, was electrifying and earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Jackson's delivery of memorable lines, such as the iconic Ezekiel speech, further solidified his place in cinematic history. Following Pulp Fiction, Jackson became one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. He delivered standout performances in a wide range of roles, from action blockbusters to character-driven dramas. His ability to command the screen with his presence, intensity, and charisma made him a favorite among audiences and filmmakers alike. Throughout his career, Jackson has continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Whether portraying complex characters in independent films or larger-than-life figures in budget big blockbusters, Jackson's talent and dedication to his craft have remained constants. Samuel L. Jackson has had a prolific career in both television and film portraying a wide range of characters across various genres. Here are some notable roles he's had in both mediums. Snakes on a Plane, 2006 Jackson starred as FBI agent Neville Flynn in this action horror film known for its campy premise. A Time to Kill, 1996 Jackson portrayed Carl Lee Haley, a father who takes the law into his own hands after his daughter is raped, delivering a powerful performance. Jurassic Park, 1993 He appeared as Ray Arnold, the chief engineer at Jurassic Park, in Steven Spielberg's blockbuster adaptation of Michael Princeton's novel. Television The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, 2021 Jackson reprised his role as Nick Fury, the enigmatic leader of S.H.I.E.L.D., 
in the Marvel Cinematic Universe series on Disney+. Plus. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 2013-2020 to He made guest appearances as Nick Fury in several episodes of this Marvel TV series, tying the show to the broader MCU. The Last Days of American Crime, 2020. Jackson starred in this Netflix crime thriller film as William Swear, a career criminal involved in a haste. Who is Samuel L. Jackson's wife? All about Latonia Richardson Jackson. When Samuel L. Jackson and Latonia Richardson Jackson say they're in it for the long haul, they mean it. The pair have been married since 1980 and share one daughter, Zoe, who is an Emmy-winning reality TV producer. As Latanya told People, it's not just loving that kept them going, but a pact they made to stay together. In the beginning, we always said the most revolutionary thing that Black people could do was stay together, raise their children with the nucleus of having a father and a mother. Since everybody likes to pretend that that's not the dynamic of the African-American family. That is just children out here being raised by women, which we know is false, said Latanya. In order to change the narrative, we made a decision to say, we are going to stay together no matter what, we'll figure it out. In August 2023, Samuel and Latanya celebrated 43 years of marriage. It's 53, really. She test drove me for 10. I passed, the Coach Carter actor wrote on Instagram. I think we can make 43 more. Love everlasting. The couple works well together at home and at work. The Jacksons both took part in the 2022 Broadway revival of August Wilson's The Piano Lesson, with Latanya directing and Samuel starring alongside John David Washington, Ray Fisher, Daniel Brooks, and Michael Potts. Washington's father, famed actor Denzel Washington, was one of the producers. Latanya was the first woman to direct an August Wilson play on Broadway. She and Samuel appeared on The View to discuss her directorial debut. It's not always what you decide. This was a gift from Denzel Washington. He brought it to me. That's how I got it, Latanya shared. A well-respected actress in her own right, keep listening on to find out more about Samuel L. Jackson's wife, Latanya Richardson Jackson. Samuel isn't the only star in the Jackson household. As Latanya has dozens of theater, film, and TV credits to her name, in 2014, she received a Tony nomination for Best Actress in a Play for her role as Lorraine Hansberry in A Raisin in the Sun. She has been in other Broadway plays, including the 2009 revival of Joe Turner's Come and Gone and Aaron Skorkin's To Kill a Mockingbird Adaptation, 2018-2019. to Born and raised in Atlanta, Latanya started acting around age 15. She attended Spelman College, the oldest private HBCU liberal arts college for women. She started acting in the children's theater and continued until graduation. I got to work with such luminous characters, actresses as Diana Sands in Macbeth, Latanya told Variety in 2017. Atlanta was a welcoming presence for a lot of artists. They called it the Mecca of the South. During a joint appearance on the Graham Norton Show in 2020, Samuel admitted that he couldn't remember how or if he proposed. Latanya, sitting next to him, set the record straight. She said that at the time, her grandfather was very ill and very concerned that she and Samuel weren't married. So they had to wed right away so her grandfather could walk her down the aisle. So now you have to ask him if you can marry me, and then you have to ask me will I marry you, 
And you did, she explained. To which Samuel responded, I did. Latanya said, it was semantical. While Samuel insisted, it was romantic. Along with her husband, Latanya co-funded the non-profit Samuel L. and Latanya R. Jackson Foundation in 1999 which has donated money to educational, arts, and health organizations. The Jacksons were also donors to the National African American Museum of History and Culture. Latanya's Instagram is filled with yacht photos, both solo and with friends and family. Every July, the couple pauses work for the month to spend time with family, which often includes boat days with their daughter Zoe, and her friends. As the couple explained to people, Samuel has only one role for their exertions. Don't wake anybody up. You sleep when you sleep. Then when we come together and eat. All about Samuel L. Jackson's daughter, Zoe Jackson Samuel. Samuel L. Jackson is a proud family man. The Hollywood actor and his wife of over four decades Latanya Richardson Jackson shares one child together, a daughter named Zoe, 41. In the beginning, we always said the most revolutionary thing that black people could do was stay together, raise their children with the nucleus of having a father and a mother, since everybody likes to pretend that that's not the dynamic of the African-American family. Latanya previously told people of her and Samuel's marriage. While Zoe grew up in the public eye, attending red carpet events from a young age, including the 2000 ceremony for her dad's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, she opted for a career behind the camera. Despite her low-key lifestyle, she still finds plenty of time to spend with her famous parents. She makes me laugh like nobody else, Samuel previously told people. Zoe even quarantined with her parents during the COVID-19 pandemic, cooking for her and entertaining her parents. Your presence and persistence, lemon bars and screaming suggestions were lockdown gifts that made the year bearable. You always made me know things were going to be all right. He captioned part of an Instagram post on Zoe's 39th birthday in 2021. Who is Zoe Jackson? Here is everything to know about Samuel L. Jackson's daughter. Samuel and Latanya Jackson welcomed their daughter on March 28, 1982, a little less than two years after tying the knot. Following her birth, the pulp fiction star focused on being a present father figure, something he didn't have growing up. After graduating with a degree in psychology from Vassar College in 2004, Zoe followed in her parents' footsteps, I'll bet behind the lens, by becoming an award-winning TV producer. In addition to graduating from Vassar College, Zoe also attended the prestigious French Culinary Institute that same year. Her dad, who occasionally is the recipient of her hard work in the kitchen, has a great appreciation for her culinary talent. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Samuel and Jackson is worth $250 million. A lot of that money is from his Nick Fury paychecks, but also his spokesman deal with Capital One and his bi coastal real estate holdings. Samuel L. Jackson commands a $10 million to $20 million salary for every lead role he performs per celebrity net worth. But even in Avengers movies, in which he briefly cameos, Jackson makes at least $2 million to $3 million. Jackson secured this sweet deal because Marvel used his likeness to create Ultimate Nick Fury without his permission. Sam is famously the coolest man alive, and both myself and artist Ryan Hitch just liberally used him without asking any kind of permission. Comics writer Mark Miller said, You have to remember, this was 2001 when we were putting this together. The idea that this might become a movie seemed preposterous. 
as Marvel was just climbing out of the bankruptcy at the time. Rather than sue Marvel back into bankruptcy, Jackson merely asked that he be cast as Fury in any future projects. And when the MCU took off, that paid off handsomely. Samuel L. Jackson's biggest spokesman deal is for Capital One. The Hollywood Reporter says he makes eight figures a year off the credit card ads, meaning at least $10 million. Jackson is a spokesman for Capital One's Quicksilver card. Most of the spots revolve around his rep as a superhero, since Jackson has played two superheroes, three, depending on if you count, John Schaff, and two supervillains. Inside Samuel L. Jackson's $8.35 million home, in 2000, Jackson had a busy year by starring in three movies, such as Unbreakable, Shaft, and Rules of Engagement. However, he still found the time to do some real estate shopping. During the same year, the Oscar Award nominee picked up a luxurious Beverly Hills estate from fellow actress Roseanne Barr. The prop to purchase cost the Captain Marvel star nearly $8.4 million. Jackson's estate encompasses 11,738 square feet of living space. It includes six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. The home features a living room filled with various artworks displayed on the walls, including Jacob Lawrence's artwork called The Builder. In addition to this, Jackson's abode also featured a sizable dining area, a family room with the fireplace, an office, which displays Jackson's acting milestones, and legendary boxer, Muhammad Ali's autographed gloves, and a distinct master bedroom. Aside from the main home, the property also includes a guest house, which originally was a small ranch. The guest house features a screening room, a popcorn maker, and much more. Outside the home, Jackson can enjoy plenty of green spaces filled with various trees and plants. The Oscar Award nominee also had a swimming pool in the property transformed into a pudding gar green. Let's see the 2024 car collection of Samuel L. Jackson, a.k.a. Nick Fury. 2016 Toyota Camry The Toyota Camry has been the most popular car among Americans and proves itself by being a great mix of convenience and affordability. Therefore, it is not a surprise that Samuel, who prefers practicality, has one. It is a perfect car to hide in plain sight. Just like his character, Nick Fury, Samuel is also trying to hide from the paparazzi. Jaguar XF Samuel's car collection perfectly describes his personality, and the beautiful Jaguar XF is his way of showcasing his sophisticated size, which one cannot see in any of his movies. The Jaguar XF is one of the best cars in the Jaguar lineup and is regarded as one of the most beautiful British cars ever made. Samuel has been spotted many times in the Jaguar XF. This ultra-luxury vehicle has both power and comfort, making it a perfect car for our star. 2014 Land Rover Range Rover Sport There is nothing better than having a Land Rover in your collection. The Land Rover Range Rover Sport is an all-around performer in every segment of an SUV. It is not a surprise for Samuel to have one. Just like his versatility, he demands that his car be versatile, i.e. have both speed and comfort at the same time. The car was bought by Samuel after his tour of the Ferrari factory in 2014. Rolls-Royce Phantom The one vehicle that can be spotted in every A-list celebrity's collection is a Rolls-Royce. The comfort and luxury fused with that crazy amount of power can entice anyone to the Rolls-Royce Phantom. The beautiful British machine 
has also lured Samuel to own a Rolls Royce. <laughs>